Hey, what's up, guys? It is King Alpha here, and welcome back everyone to a brand new video. Today, we're back on Balloon Tower Defense 6, and today we're going to be taking on Monkey Meadow on Impoppable. So, um, I'm actually looking to complete some of these maps. You can see here if we scroll through some of these maps, either I've done them on easy, medium, and that that's really it. I've tried to do most of the maps. Uh, a lot of these maps came out after I, I kind of stopped playing. I've pretty much done every single default map. Um, and, you know, I've been trying to get better. I've been trying to unlock some new things. So you can see here on Monkey Meadow and Resort, I've done Easy, Medium, and Hard on all of them. You can see on Me Monkey Meadow, I've even done the uh, alternate balloon rounds. And, you know, I figured for at least one or two maps, I wanted to get every single badge. And uh, so to be able to do that on Easy, I have to complete Primary Only, Deflation, uh, and then on medium, I have to complete military only, apocalypse reverse. Um, and then on hard, I have to complete magic monkeys only, double HP mohabs, half cash, alternate balloon rounds, impoppable, and chimps. And once I've completed every single one of those, I will then get every single badge. Um, now, obviously, the easy ones and the medium ones are going to, for the most part, going to be pretty easy. Uh, apocalypse is pretty known to be pretty difficult but these are obviously going to be the hardest ones now impoppable for some reason it's in um in the subcategory for hard even though impoppable is technically a whole nother difficulty they made it really weird uh in other like previous um blue entire defense games it was just um well, it went back too far it was just like a, an extra category but that's how you get this other badge right here is for bidding impoppable I know it's weird how they have these three, and then this one's kind of off by itself a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's how you get those two. And um, I don't think it actually shows. Oh, it does right there. So that one right there, that is for completing chimps. Now there's actually two chimp bags, uh, chimp bags, uh, chimps badges. Uh, that it only shows one, but you, there are two versions of it. You can get one where uh, it's basically where you're allowed to like leave the game and come back in and then there's one badge the black version uh, where you have to complete it all in one sitting so you're not allowed to leave the game whatsoever that's the most difficult one and you can always tell by one looking at the badge and then two looking at the border around the map if it's gold that means they left the game if it's black that means they did it all in one go and they didn't leave the game i plan on getting monkey meadow on black so that means i complete chimps without leaving the game which is kind of difficult but i plan on doing it but for today's video we're going to be doing in poppable and i'm pretty interested uh i've only tried this once before and i made it to around 98 before dying um so we'll see how how we do uh i'm going to be using quincy for this i don't use quincy like at all nowadays because he's pretty bad not gonna lie compared to the other ones he's pretty bad so I'm going to be using Quincy for today, though. Uh, we're going to start uh, right now. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be interesting. We'll have to see what happens. So right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and put down a Quincy right here. Like so. And we can go and fast forward. It's basically going to take care of everything. And now, um, if you want to, I have a free monkey, so I could put him down if I wanted to for a little bit of extra protection. I'll save him in case we really need him later on. Uh, but for now, you know what? We're good. So we're just going to wait. And you can basically full speed through all of this. And now what you're going to do is about round 9-ish. Um, round 9-ish, 10-ish, you're going to buy a... Um, a ninja monkey and we're gonna go ahead and put him right next to Quincy here so we gotta save up for a ninja monkey 600 bucks so actually oh actually we can go ahead and afford him because we didn't technically have to spend that much money so we're gonna go ahead and put him down right here and we're gonna start upgrading him like pretty much immediately uh, for the most part um, and we're going to be going for the top path for this guy. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're just going to go and buy these whenever we can. So we're going to need to make, uh, you know, ensure that this guy can, can handle himself out here. So we're going to go ahead and save up for the sharp shurikens as well. 
This is going to be kind of a long tutorial because we are going to 100 here. Uh, but it is definitely going to be worth it. Because, you know, Impoppable, it is the hardest um, you know, default game mode in the game. And the, the reason I say default is because there is like chimps and there's all these special game modes. But Impoppable is technically a normal game mode. It's just the hardest one. Uh, but again, for some reason, they put it in the subsection for hard, so oh, kind of weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the hardest uh, default game mode in the game. Uh, so we're going to go and buy Seeking Shuriken now. We're going to go ahead and buy that. Um, then we're going to start setting up for a double shot. And we can go ahead and afford these now. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get double shot. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and get a alchemist and we're gonna put him right here. Kind of a micro management move here. So put him as close as you really can. We're gonna go ahead and micromanage him right there. We're gonna go ahead and take him top path here. So just do a two zero zero on this guy. It's really what we're doing right now. So again, Quincy's really just gonna take care of everything. I mean, look at his pops. He's going ham right now compared to our ninja. Actually, he's really not. All right, so now we're going to get a monkey village. I'm going to put it down right here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get... Uh, we're going to go ahead and get monkey business. And um, we're going to get monkey permits right there. Just like that. I'm gonna save up a little bit more money here. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and buy the Berserker Brew. So I got some money to play around with here. We're gonna go ahead and actually go back to here. We're gonna buy Bigger Radius. Now we're going to save up to upgrade this guy to the balloon Zichu, which is going to be a 3300. We're going to save up for that. And now we can go ahead and buy that. We're going to go and purchase balloon Jiu-Jitsu now. Boom. And we're doing good so far. We have really had no problems yet. We're just cruising right on by. Just the cruising. Uh, now on our alchemist here, we're going to go and buy Stronger Acid, and we're also going to buy um, the Piercing Potions. Incoming. Got our first Mohab Balloon here, you can go ahead and slow the game down just to make sure you get everything Come done. Go ahead and activate or upgrade here. If you need, ooh, level 63, nice. Alright, and go ahead and buy Strongly a Stimulant as well. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and continue now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a, another village. Uh, once we have enough money. We're going to get a, another village. Right here. And if we can fit it. There we go. Right there. So we're going to get another um, tower here. We're gonna go monkey business, monkey commerce, just like so. And now we're gonna go back to this one here. We're gonna get jungle drums, because it's even cheaper.
Now we're gonna go and grab ourselves a wizard and we're gonna put him right here. And we are going to be going uh, center path and bottom path for this guy. So go ahead. Oh, that's her. I did an alchemist. That's my bad. We're supposed to do a, a wizard. Sorry about that. So go uh, a two, one for now. Or excuse me, a two, two. You see right here on this guy with monkey town we're gonna go ahead and buy that now that we saved up 10k we're gonna go ahead and buy that Incoming. Got another mohab coming we're gonna go ahead and buy shimmer we're gonna go ahead and buy this upgrade as well and for this one right here, we're going to go ahead and grow blocker and radar scanner there. And now we're going to go ahead and put down a helipad or heli pilot. We're going to be putting him down right here. We're going to be doing a top and a bottom path here. So we're going to go there and there. We're gonna go and buy razor rotors. Now we're just gonna save up for this Apache Apache Dart ship. Oh no, excuse me, we're actually going to, I got that wrong, we're going to save up for the Prince of Darkness, which is 28,000, that's what we're saving up for. So we should be able to afford him around level, uh, or uh, around 65-ish, we should be able to afford him. We'll just keep going with this strategy for now, this is perfectly fine where, where we are. It'll take you most of the way. So again, to kind of go over some of the things that you'll need here, just kind of showing you guys some of the upgrades that we went with. Showing you guys what we've done. Again, whenever you feel like you need to, you can use your abilities. Uh, I always usually overuse my abilities, but you know, I use them anyway because you know I have my abilities, so why not use them? It can make it easier on myself then why not even though you may not need them we're only four thousand away and there it is almost prince of darkness go ahead and buy that And now we're gonna go ahead and save up to buy the uh, Apache Dart Show, which is 23,000. And around level 70-ish, uh, we should start, uh, or we should have enough money to afford that. There we go. So I am watching, or I'm, I'm basing this off of a strategy um, that I saw by Soul Soul. Um, he is a YouTuber with 685 subscribers. Um, so he 
is using this strategy. So I'm kind of, that's why I'm, sometimes we're not talking. I'm trying to see, make sure that he's doing it right. Because I've, um, I've tried a different couple strategies. I'll say a couple. I've tried one other strategy because this is only my second time playing in pop -up. I've tried one other strategy and that's the one that I got, got me to round 98 and I ended up dying on. Uh, and the strategy wasn't bad or anything. I mean, it, it did get me up to 98, but I don't know. I just didn't really like that strategy. And, uh, you know, people really seem to like this guy's video. Um, so I figured I would try out his strategy and um, he's, he's going kind of slow <laughs> with showing what's going on so I keep having to try to fast forward to, to see exactly what he's doing here so sorry if I'm being quiet in some parts but I'm just trying to make sure that I bring you guys the best possible tutorial and I don't want to mess anything up I want to make sure that I'm telling you guys exactly what to do uh, is and exactly when to do it because um, you know, when it comes to strategies like this, with some of these macro placements, and, you know, sometimes if you buy an upgrade before, you know, maybe if you bought, for instance, this Apache Dark ship before you bought, I don't know, the Prince of Darkness, you would have been dead already, right? So I need to make sure I get everything in the right order for you guys, because if not, then the strategy's not gonna work. You know, you might as well just do whatever. You guys are here, you're watching this video because you want to know a foolproof plan on how to beat Monkey Meadow and Papa Will every single time. And that's what I want to give you guys. And that is what I am giving you. So, yeah, so now we've unlocked uh, or we've upgraded to Apache Dart Ship. So now, uh, fast forwarding to what he's doing, we're going to buy. I just bought something. Oh, we're buying Apache Prime. We're gonna be buying Apache Prime for fifty-four thousand. Very interesting. I've never seen anyone go for the Apache Prime. Um, if it was me personally, I would go for a Crossbow Master. But that is me. I don't know. This is his strategy, so we'll see how it works. But if it was me, I would. Um, I would definitely go for a Crossbow Master. Uh, maybe some kind of glue or ice gunner or something. Uh, maybe he does later on or something. But, I mean, he's on r wave 84 and he ends up buying the Apache Prime. So, I mean, by that point, we're not going to really have enough money to do too, too much. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so far, this has been a great strategy. Um, again, with the other strategy that I used, um, you know... I was kind of struggling a bit, not gonna lie. Through these um, even middle and kind of high rounds, uh, getting close to 100, I was really struggling. But you know, we haven't really struggled at all um, so far in this. So, I'm actually, very surprised. I've got to say, comparing this strategy so far, this one is definitely the uh, the better strategy to go with. Um, so we'll just have to see late game. Uh, how good the strategy is. So our Apache Prime again is 54,000. So we've still got a while to go. He gets his again on wave 84, and we're currently on 79. So we still got a while to go. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, this strategy is working wonderfully so far. Oh, we got a ZOMG now. Shouldn't really be a problem. No, not really. Just turn right through. Him. Tearing right through him. So in three rounds, we should be able to afford this. We just need uh, 14,000 more. What level is our Quincy now? 16. There it is, about to hit 50,000. So after we buy the Apache Prime, what does he buy next? Oh, another ninja monkey that he puts right here. Interesting, okay. Apache Prime almost there, 2,000 more. 1,000 more, and very close. Boom, Apache Prime, done. All right, so now we're gonna buy a, another ninja monkey. He saves up 13,000 before he does. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and do it though. So we're gonna buy a ninja monkey and put it right here. Oh, I can't quite put mine where he does. 
But I guess the camo doesn't really matter. I'll get one of the times two thing though. I guess it's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do a center tier, like a full center tier it looks like. All the way there. And then one on the uh, top. And I believe now we're gonna save up for this. Uh, yes, indeed. So now we're gonna now we're gonna save up for the Grand Saboteur. I'm glad I unlocked this. I didn't have this unlocked not too long ago. I just recently unlocked this. So we're gonna save up for this, which we can already almost afford. We're on 90. He could afford it on 92. We got it before him even. Alright, and then on this guy right here, we're gonna go ahead and buy this, so they can pop all the different types of balloons. Headshot. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually upgrade it once again to the call to arms for 24,000. Should get that around 96. So we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off auto start for a bit. We're almost done. Again, we, we've been we, we've just been going through with flying colors so far. Really, no problem whatsoever. Need 2,000 more. Ooh, got some big boys right here. Going to activate our upgrades. Call to arms, go ahead and purchase that. Yep, and then on 100, now basically we're just going to ride it out, it looks like. And then on 100, we're going to use our ability. So let's go ahead and do auto start, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't purchase anything else. He just starts to save up money. Um, I feel like I feel like a dart monkey could help, or a super monkey. I could level up a super monkey. Um, Super monkey would be nice. Dark champion. 98, here we go. I'm going to slow these down here. You could put down some, I guess, other stuff if you really wanted to. I don't really need anything else. Put some extra stuff. 99, here we go. Very nice. And 100, so we're gonna go ahead and activate our stuff. We're just shredding through this guy. Absolutely shredding through them. Headshot. Yep, this is going to be no problem, oh man, no problem.
I don't want him to get out of range. There it is. Oh, we got a zero one zero monkey. And there it is. Victory. We can see our stats there. Victory. We got 333 bucks. That simple. We ended up making it very, very nice. If we head home now and we take a look, you'll see we will now have the badge for Monkey Metal. And that's how you get it. And then from here, uh, now we unlock the chimps. So now if we do chimps, uh, we'll get the extra little badge to go with that guy. So there you go. If you guys did enjoy the strategy and if it did help you at all, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. And if there's anything you guys think I could have done to improve the strategy, also let me know in the comment section down below. In the next video, I will be doing a resort in probable strategies. Hope you guys are excited for that. But I will see you in the next one. Peace.